Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is the Lean Cuisine Meatloaf with Mashed Potatoes, $2.50 for this box. What do we got going on here? First off, this is part of the Lean Cuisine Culinary Collection. As far as I'm concerned, culinary means uh, cooking. And so I would assume basically all food related things are culinary collection, but hey. Meatloaf with mashed potatoes is savory meatloaf with gravy and creamy red skinned mashed potatoes. Eight grams of total fat, 250 calories, three grams of fiber. Now, savory meatloaf, what does that even mean? Well, if I look at this uh, box, savory meatloaf means like generic brown texture with like little hints of green things. That's basically what savory means. I love me some meatloaf. I love three meat meatloaf. I make a three meat meatloaf that is like, in my opinion, the best meatloaf on earth. And if you guys have a better meatloaf recipe, bring it on because my meatloaf is awesome and, uh, and that's it. However, meatloaf typically means like crazy amounts of calories, crazy amounts of bad things for you. This is part of lean cuisine. So that makes me think it's either really horrible or it's really awesome and I got a new thing to add to my stable of great tasting lunch menus from the freezer aisle. I'm gonna get this out of the box. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. When I come back, me and my Lego shirt, we're gonna get this down deep into my belly. Okay, I've taken this out of the microwave. Here's how it looks. This looks like Every other meatloaf meal or Salisbury steak with mashed potato meal I've ever cooked in the microwave from the freezer aisle. We got the standard two compartment. We got the brown gravy with a, just a slab o meat. That's Irish, slab o meat. And we got the mashed potatoes that are just kind of like fuel injected into the side panel. What we don't have typically uh, that I'm interested in here is bits of green, bits o green. We may as well go with the Irish, bits o green. Um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing kind of what we got going on here. Now the cooking preparation was four minutes in the microwave, stir the potatoes, one and a half minutes, let rest. We've reached the let rest portion. We're going to get this into my belly. Let's first start with the mashed potatoes. Now, remember they said creamy mashed potatoes, red skinned potatoes. I see bits of red skin in here and I dig that. That's pretty awesome. It's not just your standard like powdered Idahoan mashed potatoes that are dry. This is most definitely creamy, like creamy in a way like when, I don't know if you guys ever make your own mashed potatoes, but creamy in a way where you mix a lot of milk or cream as well as like sour cream in there. You know that taste? That's what I'm hoping for here. Let's see how this tastes. That's not bad. That is, that is not bad at all. Consistency wise, nice. Um, very nice in my mouth. It's smooth. The uh, skin of the potatoes, I like that extra little crunchiness. Dig that. Now, and that was without the gravy. When I look at this piece of meatloaf, um, you know, and, and I guess the nature of meatloaf with, where it all just kind of packed together and formed in uh, the shape of whatever you want, um, it's not bad. It doesn't, it doesn't look like, it's not like, oh, I'm giving you a steak and really it looks like a meatloaf. This is supposed to be meatloaf. So they kind of get away with uh, kind of the textures that are normally textbook for microwave meals. Uh, but don't really fit the, you know, what they're modeled after. This is supposed to look like this. Let's see if this tastes the way it's supposed to taste. <sighs> Savory, yes. Flavorful, no. This is the Lean Cuisine Meatloaf with Mashed Potatoes meal, $2.50 for this meal. Easy to prepare in the microwave, very good creamy red, 
red skin mashed potatoes. Very good mashed potatoes, not so very good meatloaf. Uh, this says it has 590 milligrams of sodium. It could benefit from maybe another 300 milligrams of sodium in the form of like garlic salt or soy sauce or Worcestershire sauce or anything, barbecue sauce, whatever. Give me a little bit more zing in this gravy and in the mashed potatoes. The texture of the, uh, I'm sorry, not the mashed potatoes, the meatloaf. The texture of the meatloaf, same thing falls apart in your mouth and that's not supposed to happen. All in all, I give this a two and a half out of five star rating. And that's a shame guys, because it's real close to a three. It's just, it just, it tasted like, uh, like, I don't know, just like a watery mess. Not really down with that. Question of the day. What is your favorite meatloaf recipe? Leave that in the comment section. And you know what? I, I want to hear about it, guys. I want to know because I know you guys have meatloaf recipes. Maybe it's your mom's, maybe it's your grandma's, maybe it's your dad's, maybe it's your uncle's, whatever. What's your favorite one? Maybe it's in a restaurant because sometimes restaurant types are going to be loaf as well. Leave that in the comment section. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.